What's going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how you can overclock or underclock your graphics card using MSI Afterburner. All right, it's super simple and easy. All you're going to want to do is download the MSI Afterburner application from the MSI website. All right. And then as you can see, it shows us our GPU clock speed, which is actually the core. Okay. So the actual graphics processing unit, not your whole entire graphics card. Okay. In case you guys didn't know that. All right. So it is set to 1650 megahertz currently, our memory, so our VRAM is set to 7500 megahertz. It tells us our voltage it is currently being intake from our graphics card. And then it tells us our temperature that our graphics card is as well. And as you can see right down here in the middle, this is the clock section, okay? So the core clock in megahertz and then the memory clock in megahertz. As you can see, they're both on zero, so it's stock. All right, so if you drag it upwards and it says plus, then that is going to add to this. And if you drag it downwards, then it is going to subtract from this. Okay, so both of these. So this is how you underclock. And if you bring it up, it's overclocking. All right. So this is going to be like a safe zone for MSI Afterburner to overclock and underclock your graphics card so that you won't have crashes and whatnot, you know, like a safety zone. Okay, because you can actually do it more if you want, which I'll show you here in just a second, but you got to be careful with it so that you don't have crashes in your programs and whatnot. But anyways, also bring down your power limit, which will bring down your temperature limit. And then to apply these settings, as you can see, you just need to click this check mark right here. And then as we can see, it actually underclocked our VRAM and our GPU. Okay, super simple and easy. If you guys want you can go into the curve editor and you can do more precise changes if you would like to. As you can see, the voltage is down here and then the frequency is here, all right? And then you also have a temperature and uh, frequency chart right here. It's just telling you that once it hits about 87 degrees uh, Celsius, then it'll drop its core clock speed. Okay, so, you know, if you guys want to learn this part, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see me make a video on this one, and I can do that for you guys, but we're not going to get into that today. Just for a base, um, simple overclocking and underclocking. There you guys go. I hope this helps you guys out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.